Hey, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to cut your floating rafts to put in your grow bed. These typically come in four feet pieces, which you can see back here, but I had to cut them because this is a little under three feet to put them in there. So I'll be showing you how I cut these to be able to fit in your grow bed. You can see it goes all the way along there. Um, that one in the back was where I'll be filling it up with the other the floating rafts. It was going to be a hydrocon grow bed, but instead I decided to use a U-siphon, which you can see right here, to connect both the of them together. So the water flows from here, and then into here, um, and then down into the sump tank. So I'll be showing you how I cut these rafts and made them for the uh, floating raft system. So all I'll really use is just a simple pocket knife. This is an old one. Um, to cut the styrofoam then afterwards I'll show you what I do to kind of heat the flat the styrofoam so that it doesn't put any of the styrofoam pieces into my aquaponic system so right now I'm just going to cut them to the piece length I need um, by using a simple pocket knife and measuring it out so I'll show you that so you just want to start off by making uh, following the line, you want to make a first, first the cut. So just go along the line you drew the best you can. And that gives you the starting points. And then do that again. And so after like just two times of that, it makes it much easier because you can just follow the line and go faster. After I get to a certain point, what I like to do is put it like this on the table. So what, and then I cut not all the way to the end, but just along until like from here until here. And then when I get to a certain point, it falls off cleanly. So I'll first cut them, and then what I'll do is I'll show you what I do to seal this part of it, because you see it gets all this stuff coming off so I don't want that in the aquaponics so for this one I'll actually first cut it into a curve so I'll use this one as a template So what I'll do now to basically seal off the styrofoam is use this heat gun I have or borrowed from someone just to melt the styrofoam and kind of seal it. So I'll show you that. All right, just to show a comparison of how the two different look. So this one on the right is one that I didn't seal it yet, and this one on the left is one that I did. Um, it's kind of hard to see the difference through the camera, but you can kind of make it out. The sealing is nice because I don't want the styrofoam to get into the aquaponic system. Okay, so now that I cut the styrofoam, Seal it to the best I can and rinse all the little pieces off. I'll put it into this grow bed. It is kind of green right now because the water has just been sitting here. Um, but what I'll do is put the styrofoam in here and then you'll see the finished grow bed right here. So I have this cut like this so it can fit in these corners. And then on the end, all the way over there, I have where the water goes into my sump tank. So I made a hole right here, as you can see. And these are just some pieces to fill this spot right here.
So you can see how the grow bed looks with the floating rafts inside. I have these here because the water uh, makes the center of these grow beds bow outward. So I needed to put those. And then you can see this is where the water goes through to the sump. So I cut this to go around like that. Probably won't put a plant there, but we'll see. And then I have this here. I just have this little thing here for now. Um, we'll see what I do here. I might just want to leave it like that. And maybe possibly make this U-siphon, as you can see there, um, into a two inch instead of this one inch and a half. So it flows better. For well, that is that one. And then here's the other grow bed. It's a floating raft. So this is where the water comes from that filter over there that goes out through here. And then uh, this is a floating raft system as well. So again, it has this. But what I'll need to do now for this is actually put a bunch of air stones all along the bottom here so that the plants will get enough oxygen. So you can see both of them. Thank you for watching this video. I just showed you these floating rafts that I made, how I cut them to put in these grow beds since these do typically come in four feet pieces, which don't fit in these grow beds I have. So that was just showing you how I cut them and putting them in here. So these are the two different floating raft systems that I have. Um, the other ones are for Hydroton. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.